Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my September favorites. So I know that I've been a little bit MIA and as you may still hear by the sound of my voice, I have been a little bit sick and I just hate filming when I sick well, when I'm sick because I sound really nasally and I sound like a man. I already sound like a man as it is. So being sick it just makes me sound like so anyway, today I'm going to show you all the products that I was loving in the month of September and I cannot believe September is gone. Bye bye. See you later, vato. So if you guys want to see what my September favorites are then or were, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I first want to start with skincare. I have been loving this product so much. This is a Peter Thomas Roth Clinical Skincare Glycolic Acid with three or it contains 3% of glycolic acid and it's a facial wash. I have been loving this so much. I actually picked it up a few weeks ago within the month of September, but I've been using it every day. You guys know that I have oily skin. I have big old oils on my face, like big ass pores, and I do suffer from textured skin like right here, usually where my highlight is, which I don't even care, girl, if you got texture, rock that highlight, hunty. So I have been using this to just help the texture on my skin, and even though I've only been using it for a few weeks, I have noticed such a difference. I do notice, though, that I am still starting to peel right here, the sides of my mouth right here, and then just a little bit on my cheeks, which is good. It means that the product is actually working. If you guys suffer from acne or from textured skin, give this guy a try. It's worth it. Even though it's pricey, it's totally, totally worth it. It took me years to jump on this bandwagon, but I finally picked up the Laura Mercier um, this is a loose setting powder in the color Translucent. Now, I really like this product and I do see why so many or why other beauty bloggers actually enjoy this product. But I don't think it's anything like phenomenal. I don't think it's anything out of the ordinary. I really like the NYC um, Translucent Powder and then the one from Walmart, which is the... Uh, Airspun by the Cody Airspun. Um, this one is pricey and for the price I was hoping that it would just like make a miracle on my face or something, you know, but it doesn't. I still like it and I still have been using it every day, but um, let me know what you guys think because for the price of it, I really was hoping that it would like transform my face into like J-Lo or something. Next up, I want to talk about this little guy right here. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil in number 12. And girl, my brows have been on fleek since I bought this. I just, they're a lot more like bushier. I've been really into more of a natural brow. And this just helps me get right there because the, br the brush is so thin, if you guys can see that. It's really thin. So it allows me to like carve out my brows, but I don't need as much product, I feel like. And then I like to use, you know, this side just to draw in these little hairs that I have right here. And then the brush is just, or the little spoolie is so nice to just comb out your hair. And I don't know, I've been really liking it. It is a little bit pricey as well for a brush. Actually, it's not that bad. It's $18, but I think it's totally worth it. If you really like to have your brows really nice and defined, I think you're going to like this. If you don't have it already, I think most of the people in the world except me had this product. And I am so happy that I got it. I also want to mention this brush really quick. This is a brush from Target. It's from their Up and Up collection. I actually own other brushes that I really like, but I recently saw this and I was like, uh, yes, you're coming home with me, baby. I don't remember the name of it or if it even has a name, but when I saw it, I just thought, oh my god, this would be so perfect for either cream contouring or just for applying my foundation. I have been loving this for my foundation. It is so tightly compacted in there, if you guys can see that, but it's very tight in there. That's what he said. I've been definitely digging this one. You guys should check it out. Since we're talking about contouring, this palette, I really didn't think I was going to like this palette as much as I do. And let me tell you why. I think about a year ago, I did a review when this palette first came out. I know that they relaunched it and this is a new formula. But when I first got it, I hated the product. But with the new formula, I really like this. It's so creamy and... I mean, it, hopefully you guys can see the pigmentation on that, but it's very good. Now, it is more on the warm side, so it's going to be more of a bronzer versus a contour, but I like to go in with a bronzer first, which is this, and then I'll just chisel out my cheekbones just a little bit if I'm in the mood for a really sharp contour. Guys, I am about to bless your highlight game 
right now. If you guys are into a super dramatic, hella in your face, hello, like you're shining brighter than the stars highlights, you are going to love this combo. Um, this is the e.l.f. I hate that it doesn't have a name, but this is an Ill illuminating um, little highlighter. And let me just say that this is the most gorgeous thing I've ever laid eyes on. So this is it right here, and if you guys can see that, that is so creamy and so pigmented. It's just, ugh, it's so breathtaking. All I do is I grab some, and then I'll apply it onto my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, and then just pretty much everywhere where you want to glow, just apply this everywhere. And then, and then, you are going to go in and set that bitch. Now... JCAT Beauty does send me PR packages, thank you JCAT, and they sent me this recently and I cannot stop using it. This is the You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter in White Goddess. This is no joke. This is actually the highlight that I'm wearing today. I know that they have two other ones, I think it's a gold one and a peach one, I don't have those, but this one is just... <sighs> It's life and more. So this is the new Tarte Concealer. Everybody and their baby and their dog and their cat is raving about this. This is the Shape and Tape Contour Concealer and I got mine in the color medium. I literally stalked Ulta for weeks until they had this because it was sold out everywhere. And the shade Light Medium or Medium Light, something like that. It was too light for me so I picked up Medium. The formula guys, oh my god. It's definitely full coverage, but it doesn't feel thick or heavy on the skin. It blends out really nicely. This is a type of concealer that you have to blend out quickly. You can't just like let it sit there, chill, go take a shit, and then just come back and blend it. No, you gotta blend that shit quick. Otherwise, it is going to set and it's going to look like a hot mess. Trust me, I've been there. Okay, and the very last thing that I wanted to mention is this perfume. I've been really into perfumes lately, like... Just trying out different scents, and this one, I am I hope I don't butcher it. This is the YSL Beauty Mon Paris um, perfume, and it is so good. I love how it smells. First of all, look at this cute little packaging. It's really cute. It's very feminine, very classy. It's a very sophisticated, passionate, sensual type of perfume. I just, oh, I love how it smells. And I just want to read you guys the notes that this one has. So the notes are strawberry, raspberry, bergamot, cologne, pear, orange flower, jasmine, sambac, white peony, datura, patchouli, white musk, ambrox, cedarwood, and crystal moss. So, I mean, you can only imagine how good this smells. I've already sprayed some on me today, so I don't want to spray anymore. But even my sister, she really liked it, and it just, it's so good. And again, I just feel so fancy when I wear this. Like, I just want to go shopping to Chanel, even though I can't afford it. Okay, guys, and those were all the products that I was loving in the month of September. Um, I felt like I didn't have that many, but I always say that, and this video is probably super long already. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite products were for the month of September. And I believe that is everything. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, chicas.